My fellow Montrealers, tonight I am here to inform you that after 25 years of service to this community, I am leaving public life. When I decided to run for mayor of the new city of Montreal, I knew I would be inheriting a city technically bankrupt with a democratic deficit. With chronic underinvestment in infrastructures, not much compassion for the most needy of our society, no transportation plan, a moratorium on the development of green spaces, no cultural policy, and no shared vision for the Montreal metropolitan community. The past 11 years were rich and unforgettable, but I also live very difficult Mormon, an ordeal which I would never wish to anyone to live. And in 2017, for its 375th anniversary, Montreal will be recognized globally as a city of creators and as a world-class cultural metropolis. Let's take pride in that. And let's remind ourselves of it today and every day. In 2001, during my first meeting with the city director general, he told me there were rumors about brown envelopes circulating in some departments. I asked him what he had done. His response was that he asked for evidence, but no one has ever given any. Given the magnitude of the challenges, I have delegated responsibilities and put my trust in fellow elected officials and the municipal public servants. Was I skeptical? Yes. Did I ask questions? Yes. Was I vigilant? Yes. But unfortunately, it was only after the facts that I was given documents, files, and international memos dating from 2004, 2006, and 2009. When I finally received the information, I asked the public servants and the councillors why I had not been informed about this, especially when the individuals in, in charge had done nothing. When this information, I can assure you, the current contre -car project and the water meters would not have happened. The trust I had on some was inevitably betrayed. I assume full responsibility. In politics, it seems that perception matters more than the truth, especially when this perception is manipulated by multiple factors, not to say agendas. I now must suffer in an unbearable injustice. I never thought my life could be subject to such a fury in a society of law and justice. But one day, justice will prevail. Under these circumstances, I cannot help anymore. The success of our city is much more important than my personal interests. To those who relied and trusted me all these years, I want you to know that I have never, never betrayed you. I'm, not, I'm now going back home, confident in knowing who I am, to find a woman I love profoundly and who has always been by my side. To my children who won't have to worry anymore, and I will spend more time with my family and my friends who have always been alongside with me. This decision today is for me the ultimate sacrifice, my last act of love for the best interests of our Montreal. I sincerely hope the person you will choose to succeed me in November 2013 will have the same passion for Montreal as I have. Have a good evening.